Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching How to Get Away with Murder, Season 6, Episode 1. If you want to watch our Uncut Seas reactions, link to the Patreon is down below. Hearing you say Season 6, it is like, wow. <laughs> I know. I still can't believe we've made it this far. And I'm so sad as well because it means we're coming to the end and this show I feel it's like has always been mm -hmm. very reliable. It's like, oh, we've still got How to Get Away with Murder to watch. Like, yes. And soon we'll be all caught up and there'll be no more. I know. It's going to be really hard to say goodbye to this show. Like, like the last ever episode, I, I will, we'll probably be crying. Like, <laughs> I'm sure there will be that. And even this episode says say goodbye, so it's kind of ironic. <laughs> Our final mystery as well. Yeah, you know, final mystery. These are probably all the characters we're going to get now. And we're on the countdown to the Do end. Do you have any Venera. predictions for the final mystery? Everyone's going to die. <laughs> I think it'll be a main character death. Oh, they've got to kill off someone, haven't they? I don't know, but one of the mains I'm I think is gonna die at some point and that. But I just hope that it ends happy. That's all I ask. I like happy endings. And if everyone dies, it's all sad. I'm not gonna go away thinking oh that was a good show and be thinking well that was bloody sad yeah i mean you know? the majority say it's an amazing final season and ending but okay. that doesn't necessarily mean happy you know? yeah because i've watched episodes before where i cry all the way through and it's an amazing like ending an amazing episode or whatever but it wasn't happy at all because i cried the whole time but yeah, I just say yeah. I'm not so worried about it being happy. I just want it to be satisfying. I don't want them all to go to jail. I've always ummed and ahed on that. And at the end of the day, I don't because they've tried so hard for so long not to. They've dodged the law throughout every season of this show. They can't go to jail now. Like I, I considered it as well for a bit. It would like, mean that it would be so kind of funny people, to see them all go. So many people would have died in vain. Yeah. So. I know, like they've tried so hard. Like they keep, they keep having these close calls with Sam, you know, like because of Gabriel at the moment. And in the past, like few seasons, Sam's <laughs> death has been put, brought up to question, like the first death. And yeah, they've come this far and kept everything so hidden. It'd be a shame for it to all be in vain. I can't really call how I want it to end. I don't want everyone to be dead. Is the thing. Can you imagine? Like, if like, there's like, just there's... like a cull where everyone is dead at the end, I don't think I'll be happy with that. Like Xavier goes on a massive killing spree and he just slaughters each and every one of them. Like The governor uh, bombs the, governor. the town or something. Yeah, can you imagine the governor like drops a bomb like on Annalise's house and everyone's there, like oh and her nice new apartment as well. Loads of smithereens. <laughs> And like Christopher's the only one alive and he grows up and it's like a 20 year time jump and he's like going to the uni for the first time like his dad and oh, I can don't. imagine that. Oh. <laughs> it might be it might be a time jump where we see Christopher like going to going to school and studying law like his dad, making his dad proud and I would be crying my eyes out if that is the case. Then going into this season, Laurel's missing. Christopher is missing and Emmett is like dying. <laughs> so... <laughs> I know we're not off to a good start. Um, I'm hoping Emmett is going to be okay. Um, mm. Tegan is literally one floor away from him. Like she left him for s it, the time frame between Emmett getting being alive and poison is so slim because Tegan was there. Like she left like minutes and this happened. I think someone poisoned his whiskey. Because it looks like he was poisoned and he was like, you know, frothing at the mouth and, you know, dying. Um, so something was slipped in his drink either before or during, you know, that scene we saw. So I'm just too much of a logical thinker and I can't think of how someone would have spiked his whiskey. But the only thing that makes me tip your way on that is because he offered Tegan some and then Tegan said no and I feel like that was signifying like Tegan could have died if she'd had some but I know maybe the hit was for her like we don't know 
I just don't know how they would have got that specific bottle of whiskey poisoned and given to him. Yeah, they managed to steal Christopher when three men were downstairs with the baby monitor. You know, anything could happen in this show. You are right. Oh, and I've also got to point out, I, I'm completely over my theory. I seem to come up with a really stupid theory every finale. Like there was, when Gabriel first arrived, like I thought he was Tegan's son. How, how dumb yes. was that? And last oh episode, God. when I was like adamant that Gabriel and Michaela are going to be siblings, I don't think that's the case anymore. I mean, I'm hoping we find out who Dwight is this episode. Yeah, like, too. And at least knows him. I think he must have been like um, a client of hers, you know, you know, just his lawyer. I think it was one of those situations. I'm not sure it was Gabriel's, you know, yeah. stepdad or whatever. Um, so my, it, was, my it was a good theory. Now... We got to put them out there. We got to put out these crazy theories because sometime one of them is going to be right. Yeah. <laughs> and I do it all the time. So, you know, I think uh, it's fine. Right now, I think Annalise probably defended him in the shooting of Michaela's mother. Oh, yeah. And I was thinking, actually, when I was editing, because Laurel said before Annalise got on the phone, she said, thank you for everything. And we were like, oh, my God, someone finally said thank you. What if Laurel's run away? That's a good point, actually. Maybe she thought, because she was very emotional, maybe she thought, you know what, I'll give myself in because my family has done enough for these people, enough to them, you know, they've caused, all the Castillos, all they've ever done is cause pain <laughs> to everyone. Not Laurel's fault, she was born in the family, she can't help that. Yeah. But I feel like maybe it's plausible that she gave herself into her brother saying, you know what, I'll go with you and Christopher, nothing happened to anybody else, let's, let's, let's stop this and all that. So I know, possible. I don't think that's happened. I don't think she's giving herself into her brother. I think she's running away from her brother, like going off somewhere else. And that, again, another theory. Like, yeah, she could have done a runner, take Christopher, gone whenever, you know? Like, I feel like it's been mentioned a few times, Laurel saying, I could have run away into witness protection with my son, but no, I stayed. Like, I feel like she said that a few times. So... Who knows? We're gonna have to watch and find out. May God grant us peace and comfort during this time of loss. Oh God, are we so that in our sorrow we may find funeral. hope and everlasting life through our Lord Jesus oh Christ. Wait, they're all there we except this body to the ground. And earth Gabriel. to earth, ashes to ashes. And Laurel. Christopher. <gasps> Christopher. 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 Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God this is creepy. Oh. Karen, you okay? Karen? Karen? Annalise, what is going on? There's no need to explain. Picture the worst consequences of your addiction. Oh, she's at some point. Is this place you left your loved ones with? Are they angry? Maybe they're happy. Because that's how badly you've hurt them. This is a bit messed up, isn't it? I'll tell you my secret you tell me yours. What is this? Yeah, you think she what? can trust you, lady? Stan and Heather send you over here to get some scrap. No, she's just really terrible digging. at reading people. We're all gonna know each other's secrets eventually. Fine, here's mine. I'm a gangster who shoots people who don't know when to shut up. We need to go to the FBI. Absolutely not. A child is missing. He can be chained in some basement with Laurel. Why don't we go I to Xavier to torture him until he tells us where they are? Who are you? Frank would do the torture, not me. Frank's not gonna <laughs> do that. Art is being trapped in a basement somewhere and your friend's not doing anything about it. I'm with, uh, for the first time I'm with Michaela on this one. Do they have any CCTV on that street? Not like a man about to kill himself, if that's what you think. So it was they literally last the night, and Annalise is just something on to rehab. Lying around. You believe it was poison? I. Wasn't he? He's dead, Annalise. He's dead! Yeah, I kind of assumed he would be. Please tell me you're investigating. You know that I can't comment on an open investigation. Oh, that's so messed up. I quite liked Emmett towards the end. She was okay. I thought <laughs> this is so. I see you, so... you and I love you. <laughs> this is so different like we know obviously about Annalise's drinking but we've never seen her get help we saw her go to AA meetings a couple times but nothing like this they were upset not that I was dead but that it took too long they were just grateful that I was dead why especially Christopher 
Because I chose drinking over them. You're just going to end up back in here if you don't start getting real. I've been saying that for days now. I've been quiet listening to you complain about your mean balls for days. There and she blows. Oh, these people are kind of horrible. <laughs> Blow hard, chauvinist, boring. I never called you anything. Quiet down. <laughs> I love this. Bitch, bully, badass, slut. Trash, homewrecker, depressive. Why is that guy ugly. nodding like he agrees? He doesn't know how to lease. He's happy that she's getting real now. Failure. That's beautiful. Who <laughs> Annalise helped defend. Uh, we she have did. to tell Michaela. We're not telling her anything until Annalise We were right. I mean, if she comes back. Well, she better so she can explain to me why she picked me. Here we go. God, Connor rehashes this every single season. It's because I like you. I mean it. And I want you. Oh. Kayla? Laura wants to talk to you. She's horrible. What are your intentions? <laughs> what? Your intentions. Because if you're trying to get in her pants so you can betray us to the FBI... I'm not I... talking to the FBI anymore. How many times do I have to tell you all that? I'd rather have you as my bro than my foe. <laughs> I'm so happy he hasn't lost his child. I am not an idiot. I am not a pushover. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Die, people pleaser. Annalise is a fish out of water here. I put myself first always. Okay, give me an example. I'm here and the people who need my help are at home. She doesn't always put herself first. This was their plan. Take out another innocent man. <laughs> I think uh, uh, yeah, I think Annalise is having a breakdown. Like she hears she, well, this is straight off the bat when Laurel's gone and Christopher's gone. I wanna leave them. You're thinking of abandoning them? Wow. To protect myself. Say I think selfish. all of them feel that Why way at least once. Because their pain would be my fault. I want to get better. Don't worry, Ali. You've only got one season left. <laughs> Shut up. There's no moving forward until you love yourself. It can't because the body's not here. What? Where is it? London. Autopsy, funeral, burial. It's all happening there. We transferred the body this morning. On London. whose orders? A partner at his law firm. Well, that's suspicious, isn't it? Tegan Price. Tegan? Tegan? Any news on the autopsy results? No, and there won't be any for a few days. The other partners wanted his body transferred to London, made me sign off on it. You think I had something to do with this? I didn't say that. You insinuated. The Castillo's probably have this whole place bugged. Good. The nation I'm coming for. So you can end up like Emmett? Is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nate! Stop it. I gave him CPR, begging him to breathe, watching his eyes go blank. He was my friend. And you were not. So get the hell out. Tegan's good. Nate just needs to chill. Don't make jokes. This is a joke. Her phone is in a different city every two seconds. What kind of VPN does Laurel have? Laurel asked us to be Christopher's guardian. <gasps> you lie. That's a stab to the face. He's not. Oh, awkward. We can show you the paperwork. <laughs> I don't really see why they should have the moral high ground here, though. He went missing while they were looking after him. But you're supposed to turn that in. Arrest me. <laughs> the CNG partners wanted She's to do it. She's not working, at least. I know, but there's nothing we could have done to stop it. Or were you if you were here? Oh, God, she really lost herself that night. I love Annalise's dancing, but not in this, sir. Uh... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. What? No. What? <gasps> the... oh. Annalise! Wow. She went there. How much did she take? Oh, he's sort of throwing it in her face. The screen says cocaine, MDMA, and fentanyl. Fentanyl. <laughs> Oh, that's a dangerous one as well. It's good that she recognised what she did was really bad and needed help yeah, straight she away. Asked for it. We found the security company that Xavier uses. If we get the name of one of the security guards, then maybe Frank can torture the guy into telling us oh, where they took the Stop thinking of this method. You want me to protect you? <laughs> he is looking kind of buff though. Why his arms always that big? All over this bedroom. It's all that computer tapping he's doing on the laptop. <laughs> oh no! Give me more sounds. 
<laughs> what? You talk about this stuff. Girl to girl. <laughs> what is that face? Well. <laughs> I'm sick of every relationship I've ever had ending in doom. Well, to be fair, the only reason ours ended in doom is because he cheated. Yeah. Ollie stayed with Connor even after he found out about everything. So Ray was actually pro like proposing a relationship with Michaela here. Fresh. That's all. Oh my oh. god! It's me. Frank still loves Laurel confirmed. She would have taken this. Oh. Kid can't sleep without it. He just cries and cries. She wouldn't have been that cruel. Frank's hurt deep down if that is the case. Have you been she looking through my stuff? I don't have to. I say, Karen, you don't turn around. That's because I'm trying to avoid your ass. <laughs> oh, like I won the roommate lottery? Your husband stopped screwing you after popping out kids. Don't and talk about my kids. And now you stuck driving carpool in a fancy ass SUV, high on pills and Chardonnay. Fine, but you're you a mother, so sleep. you're superior to me. I hate my kids. I hate them. And I hate being a mother. I hate it. Oh. Oh, shit. I just want to run away forever. You need me so damn bad. She's just so one hard. Woman. People think I murdered my husband, but I didn't. But I helped cover it up. Uh, um, at least should you really be saying that? I know she told you her story, but hers couldn't land her in jail. Suspect. <gasps> I know. You see it happen? See what? Stan went aggro at breakfast. <gasps> He beat up a cook because they ran out of bacon. Oh my god. I was just making things Annalise, up. Annalise. Mm. I see you. And I love you. I wanna really hope that she is being nice and genuine. I'm just Imagine scared. she's like a mole, like, sent there by the governor to pretend to be her friend. You murder bitch! You're not ugly! You're not disgusting! You're not a slut! You deserve to be the and touched and snapped. You deserve to be free. Forgive yourself, Annalise, because I forgive you. I forgive you. No one knows how to expel emotion like Viola Davis. <laughs> oh, I feel so terrible for her. So do I. Laurel's gone. What? She trusts him then. She took Christopher and disappeared without a word. And I don't know where they went or if they're ever coming back even though she's my friend. She actually thinks she ran away? You're shipping this, Georgia? <laughs> I'm so uninvested in them. I don't know what it is. Uh, well, I like it more than Asher. What? Sorry to, to all the Asher and Michaela fans. Oh, I am gobsmacked. Why is Nate just sitting there like that? Because <laughs> he's freaking handsome as fuck he can do what he wants <laughs> she she back who's that what kind of rehab works in one week it's a lot oh, i'm jeans straight to a bar i forgot i told connor and oliver i'd cook dinner tonight oh well that is uh, such a bad excuse I make Michaela. My grilled cheese. <laughs> and give them another chance to recruit you as their third i mean she doesn't hurt poor gabriel i like him <sighs> I know I missed our call this weekend. So then you also it's know you're gonna have to call me twice this week to make up for it. Of course. No well, UVA <gasps> law student has time to watch TV. Unless you dropped out on me. Of course not. Who's gonna win us reparations if not? Um, this is creepy. We've been eating oh my lies. god. <laughs> is she gonna try to take with everyone? Yeah. Beer. And that's no way to live. We could have beat out all of the guilt and the shame and the lies and the fear. We're gonna bury all of it, even Laurel. She's not dead, guys. Come on, you can't just forget about her. She's always been able to take care of herself. And we have to take care of ourselves. Here. I guess they all think she'd run off then. Nursery, upstairs. Oh, they did actually report her missing. You lost your mother, your father, your sister, and Michaela. <laughs> but you have a right to be angry. You just have to let it out. Okay, don't, you forget, bitch. <laughs> don't forget Sinclair, who you ran over and killed. <laughs> <laughs> no more reject, no more loser, no more douche face. You're a good man out here. You're a good man. You're a good man. It's intense. I and don't want name's them. already on the door. Oh, wow. That's nice. Boy, bye. Oh. It's a 
Okay. Imagine if she did do it. It was my fault. None of it. I'm not a killer. I'm not a monster. I'm not the devil. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at this. I'm sorry. It's just so much damn. I have to say what second hand embarrassment. <laughs> It wasn't as bad when Annalise was doing it. I don't know. I know it's I weird know. here. When he, when he was at that support, I thought it was like really emotional. Man. Oh my god. Oh she's got a whole god. case file on Sam. Oh, she's going to turn out to be horrible, isn't she? Annalise. Number 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 oh, she's working with the governor confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing her off as a bad person. Oh, it's probably from Telesco. <laughs> Lucky Laurel just burned the blanket, eh? I know! Oh, secret. Laurel's always put herself first. The key. And you need to do the same. I do everything on my own! Everything! I'm alone, but I'm brave! I'm strong, I'm proud! They all look so deadpan. Why, Laurel? You're dead to me! You're dead to me! You're dead to me! You're dead to me! But we feel something better. If you told Michaela the truth, that's your stuff. What? What? Annalise knew your birth father. If that's true, I'm gonna kill you. Shit, she came back for this. Oh. Take our dearly departed. The green tinge is here. May the Who's Lord died? bless her and keep ha, her. Ha, it's the a ha. Lord shine upon her. Oh, it's gonna be Annalise, isn't to it? Her. dearly departed Annalise and <gasps> give her peace. See? Amen. Knew it. Actually dies. I thought it because obviously Annalise is like the core of this show, so I just said that. But now that it's actually kind of true, I'm kind of shook. Oh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, this is weird now knowing that Annalise is gonna be dead by the end. Didn't know another plot twist where like jokes. It's actually a fake Annalise body. I take the early stages as a pinch of salt because things things change real quick. Well, it did start off with her visualising her own funeral and then it's going to end did. with her actual funeral. God, if that's the ending, that's going to suck! <laughs> oh, like... Annalise dies. Hopefully that is a time jump then, like, way, way in the future. Can you imagine in, like, 50 years <laughs> when she's, like, 80? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's being very generous. She won't be 80 in 50 years. <laughs> yeah, the maths on my end was a bit sketchy. <laughs> yeah. But if it's a long time in the future and she's old and happy, then I guess, you know, I'm content with that. But if it's like two months down the line, I'm certainly not happy with that. What the heck? I know. No, I, know. I just hope she doesn't die to drinking or addiction or something. Well, it looks like the murder weapon is that um, fire poke thing. Oh. That's well, what I don't those, know. That might have just been hinting like death. Doesn't necessarily mean that's how she dies. True. Can you imagine if like Michaela just kills her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can't have Annalise dying and getting whacked with something. That would be terrible. Oh god, that's she's got to have a good well. death. Beaten to death with a fire poke is pretty spectacular to me, mate. <laughs> yeah, but I mean like a a, a happy death, not that. Or like she jumps in front of the train to save Christopher's life or something. Something I mean, heroic. Maybe. Yeah, heroic or, you know, just her being old. They didn't say how much time. Usually they say, like, oh, yeah. maybe start of the next episode, they'll say how many, how much time earlier? 35 years earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, surely not. Because um, usually that is what they do. They say two months ago. Yeah. <sighs> well, this is only episode one of season six. They're going to give a timestamp shortly as we're going on so yeah. i feel like we will soon but this is just like a teaser is isn't it so I, I am a little bit confused with the whole laurel situation so they all just assume that she ran off then so this is the age old question do you think she's run away or she has been kidnapped the christopher thing is throwing me off how did anyone get christopher with them all in the house but yeah i think i think she did run away you you think she ran away with christopher yeah. Well, see, I feel like well, I feel like she's been taken. I don't necessarily think she went with Christopher. Oh, I don't know. Do you think they're two separate issues? Do you think someone took Laurel, someone took Christopher? Totally different. Like I think someone must be working with Laurel. I reckon she ran away on her own, 
and she got someone else to take Christopher to bring to her somewhere, but I don't know who she's working with. I don't want to envision Laurel doing something like this because I feel like she proved herself. It's really episode. harsh on everyone else, and that shows that Laurel's really selfish if she does that. Like, I know she's got a child to look after, and it, it, it's a very scary situation, but not telling anyone that she's running away. No. I know. It's, you know, it's like, like Annalise has been through the ringer and instead of running away, she chose to get help and come back, which, you know, is a really good thing to do. Totally abandon everyone. And again, we know she has a child, but... I guess her mentality would be that Christopher needs her more than anyone else. And if she get, ends up getting killed in all of this, then she won't be there for her son. I suppose. I don't want to think of Laura as a bad person, though. Like... Can you imagine if, like, it gets revealed that she's, like, working with the governor and she's evil and then all the Castillos are truly are evil people? I don't... I, don't I feel like happen. she's... I feel like she's the dark sheep. She's the one the one person out of the family that's good. Like, I don't yeah. want this show to ruin that. I don't think know? they will. I don't think... That would be an epic double cross if she turned out too bad. She wouldn't. No, her family <sighs> kills Wes and she can't fake every, everything that she's cried and done since Wes died there's no way she no, would never know, side with yeah. her family after that yeah like I, I think she's running from them because she's scared of them plausible thing I think that she might have made a deal with her brother to to stay away with Christopher if they back away from Annalise I feel like some sort of deal might have happened where she's protecting them by staying away I feel like she wouldn't do it um and not protect them at all i feel like she is protecting them but in her own way um maybe I don't, I don't think she's selfish she's put them before her child so many times like how is this any different we've got tegan who may have killed emmett <laughs> yeah i mean i didn't really suspect her until she went boy bye that was just savage <laughs> she saw his class and was like boy bye my desk now because we saw my her like lingering door. in that room the whole lap as if she was looking severely traumatized by the experience like oh my god his glasses are still there he just died on this floor and she just gets her name on the door sets her things down boy bye tosses in the trash like, oh i know goodness. i i think she's okay i don't believe tegan to be a bad person at all like she's done so many good things she slept with T uh, Telesco, like, bruh, that is gross. Like, she gave herself to Telesco just to protect Annalise and and the rest. Like, come on, you don't do that just because, whatever. Like, you do that because you care. So, I don't think she's a bad person. Um, so, I don't think she killed Emmett. I think it was planted by. One of the Castillos, whatever, I think it's it's to do with them. Just to, because everyone's collateral damage when it comes to Annalise. Like mm. Nate Senior, collateral damage. They did that oh, to get yeah. to Annalise. And Nate whatever. is really suspecting Tegan as well. He's on her trail. I at the end of the day I don't think she did it. It was just really <laughs> savage of her to say that after the man just died right in front of her. Um, yeah, it's a little bit inappropriate. Yeah, but I think she's okay. I don't think she's evil or anything or working with the governor, no way. But um, yeah, and it was interesting seeing Annalise actually at a retreat. The retreat was very nice as well, a lovely location. God, um, she's paying a lot of money to be there, as they yeah. said. That when they were sitting there eating their breakfast, that view was just golden. Um, and I actually quite liked the Sally lass. Um, whether whether Annalise ends up going back there or whether they, any of them come back in the picture, I don't know. Because um, she's left very quickly after only a week because people need her. Maybe she just thinks, maybe that technique really did help her a little bit feel better about herself and start loving herself again. The only way to, to I, like make them all stop being miserable, I guess, is for the police to get off their tail. They need to seal up everything and then they'll be able to just move on, not get involved in any more murder. But it's easier said than done because they've been trying yeah. to do that the whole if, time. If, if that was an option, they would have done it in season two. Like, yeah. it's it's not really an option anymore when you've got so many like different witnesses, different people trying to take you down for knowledge. Um, and I also want to touch on bloody Gabriel's mom, like oh, yes. looking outside his window and she has a file on Sam. Well, we did see last episode that Telesco called vivian and um she said i need to talk to you about your son so maybe she's told her that 
Gabriel is investigating Sam, and so she's given her this file on Sam for her to read through. Um, Maybe. It is a bit weird that she was just watching him through the window, though. She's spying on him. She probably saw Michaela with him, like, everything. Mm. Probably saw her son having sex. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I need a bit more context. Like, and I, I feel like we might see some more faces, so, to put this puzzle together. Yeah, I mean, the mystery isn't who dies, is it, really? So I don't know no. what they're going to show in the flash forwards, to be honest. I think what it's going to be, I guess, the context in the lead, in the lead up, it's going to be like, what happened. It's going to be like, that's the finale, and they're going to show the build up, and I suppose that will have all the twists and turns in it. Mm. Um, and maybe a further plot twist, who knows? Like, it's a fake death, you know? Um... But you know yeah. what? I'm thinking about it now. Annalise leaving the thingy. Last we saw was that Sally told her that she loved her and accepted her. So maybe that really helped her as well. That she got to get it off her chest and told someone what she does. And she still got loved and accepted by that person, even though it's a random stranger who knows nothing about her. So maybe yeah. that um, woman will actually be very vital in Annalise's healing. I don't know if she just said that, but... They both got a lot off their chest that night. I mean, um, she didn't call the police, so... No, and I immediately thought that that was Stu of Annalise, you know, when the police were there. Mm. But no, it was for that other guy. Um, yeah, I I don't know if we'll see her again. It might be just a fleeting person. But yeah, I think it did make her realise that, you know, she is strong and she can get through this. <laughs> And she is loved by people. And I give it an 8.5. Um, it was good. Although we didn't get to see Xavier and the next moves by the governor, I still thought like the info that's come out is was still still compelling. And yeah, I'm excited for more. I'm gonna give it a 7.7. Ooh, that's a bit of a rogue number. It's a low one as well. It wasn't my favourite season opener. It, it felt like a very weird start to the season. Uh, kind of slow, I guess. Um, yeah, I see what you mean. We don't really know a lot of what's going to happen. We don't really know much of what has happened. This felt like the setting up episode where, you know, we're getting an insight into the general theme of things and how people feel, but we don't really know too much yet. The next episode might be better. Like, it's been set up this episode and then things start happening, you know, the, the next one. My favourite part of it was seeing Annalise at the treatment centre. Yeah, that was, a, that was a highlight for me too. And I think that was another part of it. I was very confused as to why she was there at the start. It just felt like it had been skipped ahead like 10 years and it was just a day. Um, it felt very odd at the start. But, you know, once we got the realisation for it and that flashback of her just doing coke and random drugs in the toilet was very surprising. I didn't think she'd ever go down that road. But no. she hit a new rock bottom, I guess. And I'm happy for her that she decided to ask and it's time to help. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching our reaction to season six, episode one of How to Get Away with Murder. If you want to watch our uncut reactions to How to Get Away with Murder, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you next time for episode two. Bye.